so hello guys welcome back so in last video i have seen there how we can access the variable in the variable group now i'm going to talk about the types of the variables in the azure devops so in azure devops would be we have the three types of the variables the first is the user defined variable which means a user can define a variable name and you can provide the value to a variable so the system defined variables related to the operating system level and the agent machine level and third one is the environmental level variables so environmental level variables means we have the different type of the environments where we want to deploy our build or our software like test environment queue environment and the production environment this is the third type of the variables and this we can create through the environments so these are the three types of the variables in the CI/CD Azure pipelines. Now let's see the user-defined variables, then system-defined variables, and the environment-defined variables. Now, what is the difference between all these variables? So, user-defined variable. When we create a YAML pipelines, we can set the variables at the root level, stage level, and the job level that we will see while we define the YAML pipelines okay but you can understand that when you're creating the YAML pipelines you can set a variable root stage and the job level we can create the variables outside of a YAML pipeline in the classic view UI the classic view editor variables we can use throughout the pipelines and throughout the project now the system and the predefined variables. The Azure pipelines have some system variables with the predefined values that we cannot change. System variables are set with their current value when you run the pipeline. So when we run the pipeline, they will set the value with the current value. It means when you run the pipeline on the Microsoft operating system, the variable will set OS as a Microsoft Windows operating system. When you run the pipeline at the Macintosh, the operating system will set as the Macintosh. So when you run the pipeline, that time it will set the system variables. So this is the second type of the variables. And environment variables are specific to the operating systems we are using. The different variables are available based on the execution context. So we have the two choices to run the pipeline one is the through the yaml pipeline and second one is through the classic editor okay we have the two options to create a pipeline and the run pipeline okay and depend on the execution context like you are going to run the pipeline through the yaml format then we have the pipeline variables are available now the classic editor pipelines so classic editor pipelines we can create a one build pipeline and the release pipelines we have the two types of the pipelines available in the Azure devops and we can create these pipelines to the classic view editor so build pipelines when we create the build pipelines then we have the build variables and when we create the release pipelines we called as the release variables so pipeline variables, build variables, and the release variables, there are the three types of the variables available based on the execution context. These are not the type of the variables. These are the variables availability based on the execution point of view. How are you going to execute and what we call the variables which we have created. 